Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Osiris New Dawn. The discovery update, and we're going to be getting into weapons. So, first things first. You guys are going to see I have the Cobalt Pistol and the Cobalt Assault Rifle. Only difference between these and the basic version is these, because they're made out of Cobalt, they don't decay as fast. Um... But that's the only difference. So we're going to test out the pistols. And I say pistols because we also have a reactor pistol. Then we've got the heavy assault rifle, the bolt rifle. Now this one you can get in Cobalt too. We have cryo rifle, hydrogen torch, the Azure rifle, and the charge rifle. So I'm going to run around, find stuff to shoot. And we're going to see how they do and compare them. So one of the reasons, again, why I like where I put my base is there's always something I can usually get to spring there. But first, in case you are curious, you have to fully upgrade this on the weapon side. And we can't make the heat pistol right now because I have not seen anything about a fire gem now that would be the fire planet kind of like what we consider mercury you know full of volcanoes roasting hot stuff like that i don't think they put that in the game yet unless i'm wrong but i haven't seen it anywhere i don't know maybe it's up on a Ezreal. that's one place we haven't gone yet but you can see this is where we get everything else this is where you get your cobalts all right, let's go hunting. We'll start, like I said, with the two pistol types. Oh, hey, ugly. Now, there are a few drawbacks to the weapons. You don't know how many's in there. And when you reload, it's not like in most games, you don't, your ammunition doesn't stay the same. You literally throw away that ammunition in that clip. So if you, sh if I shot once and reloaded, I basically threw a whole clip away. Something to keep in mind. So kind of just don't reload. <laughs> Let the game do it, I guess. Because otherwise you're going to be throwing ammo away. What's up, son? All right. One. All right. Two shots. Nothing too big. I know where another one of those is. We're going to put the reactor pistol in and use that next. What does that look like? Ooh, it's red. Okay, I got to give them to me. The gun designs look cool. We just need an ammo display somehow. This um, bar going down over our weapon, mm, not the best. Especially if you got a lot of things going on at once. There's our next victim. But since we're at a distance, why don't we throw up the bolt rifle? Because I haven't used this yet. This will be interesting. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Ooh. That worked pretty good, didn't it? Yep. Two when it's down. So far, the assault rifle, I think, is the same way. You know, someplace I know where there are a lot of these bugs. Now, personally, rolling with this, uh, the assault rifle, it's the easiest ammo to get. Gets the job done. Oh, I see something we can shoot. We want to go shooting for those uh, flying skeletopods that don't come down and do anything. Unless you shoot them, then they just die. 
They don't seem to have any other purpose currently. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find big stuff for us to go after. That is the goal here. Okay. The old bolt rifle back. Obviously, it's a tough rifle, huh? Well, there's the flying skeleopod. Nasty, huh? Wings. Get meat off that. Core body. Legs, too. It depends kind of on how it lands. What you can get to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so far, personally, I have the most fun with the assault rifle. It's the one I've used the most, the one I prefer. And like I said, it's just all about uh, the expense of the ammunition. Now, if you're playing PV or uh, multiplayer, oh, that's a different story. I don't know what I would go with. Depends, I suppose, on how your team wants to work as a fire team. You know, if you're going to have heavy or any other types of assigned units. But. Who knows? We're basically just puffing it here. Going to find us. Uh, if you're curious why I'm not using my vehicle, it's because it costs six of those hydrogen containers to fill a gas tank here we go oh and there's more than one even better this is what i was looking for hello boys shot you in the butt now what are you gonna do okay let's put the heavy one in Now this one gives us an idea. We got two clips. Ooh, a little different. Again, two shots down. At this point, or I should say, hopefully in the next video, we're going to be going back to space work on our space station. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but I know it's going to take a hell of a lot of resources. So, meat, this is just one of the easy ones you can get relatively quickly. There we go. See? They're like popping up out of the ground here. Oh, yeah. Single shot in their toast. All right. Now we've got the cryo rifle. Hmm. Kind of want to use that on a bigger thing. Next up is a hydrogen torch. Ooh, not much in the way of effects on that one. Ooh, there's a big guy. Hi, I want to use this thing. It says it's a torch. I'm not sure, though. Oh. oh. Okay, so that's just broken and garbage. All right. He's going to hit me again, isn't he? Charge rifle. Oh, 
Okay, so you hold the button down, then let go. You could see it took half the ammo. And this is the problem, man. This stuff is expensive. So we got that Azir rifle. I know where some more big bugs are. This is a cool looking gun. That looks just like the assault rifle. Very similar. But I'm sure as they go along, you know, they'll come up with some better ideas here. Alrighty. So this area always has a bunch of big ones running through it. No, that's definitely stronger. Because... This is the normal assault rifle. No, it wasn't. Was it? No. It's okay, there's more. We saw I took it down in single when I was testing this in the, uh, the two versions of the rifle earlier. It, uh... Took two rounds to take them down. Two, three round bursts, I should say. Now all of a sudden it's taking them in one. That is so weird. Could be a bug. You never know. go let's try the charge rifle a big one here so it pushes them away all right so that's a big difference it's good at pushing them away all right hold on a second we'll go back and we'll start looking at the cost of all the ammo so hold on you know folks i find it strangely satisfying my little kingdom here in the stars but let's go check ammo so blaster cells uh eh, not that bad there we go titanium and steel that is the cheapest of the rounds now the heavy assault rifle uh you have to make this and then that and now this dia 72 assault rounds I don't know where, what that weapon is. Sh could be coming to the game later. I don't know. Keep those in mind as we look at the headache that is trying to get these other ones. So charge sale takes exurium, battery, glass, cryo rifle, takes water, that you have to have in a little glass container, full thing of water, glass, nickel, hydrogen torch, steel, battery, tungsten, diamond. Oh, that one takes gas. And glass and rubber, tungsten. Reactor cell, that takes all kinds of crap. Lead, plutonium, copper, gold. These guys take the same um, basic rounds I was talking about before. The Azure rifle. takes Azurium. But this, I think maybe the devs made it this way because uh, in case people go ham on the Azurium because they put a lot of them up in those asteroids. I mean, you could get a few hundred, I'm sure, if you tried. The only one left would be the bolt rifle. Didn't see that ammo. Because, is it over in the printer by chance? Yes, it is. And you can make um, heavy assault rounds. Uh, A-2 heavy assault rounds. Don't know what those are. Didn't work in any of the guns. Neither did the T-21 heavy assault rounds. So maybe they're going to be like these giant, you know, like little mini guns. That would be cool. The heavy assault rifle is the exact same thing up here as uh, mine. It's just, it's the Cobalt version. Fires the same rounds. Then the bolt rifle, aluminum, titanium, and steel. See? So all the, the normal rifles 
definitely going to be what you want to carry. Now, if you're going to be going in to like someone's base in PvP, things like that, then I could see the bolt here going for distance, um, freezing people, burning people. They need to fix that. They need to actually make it a flame, which is surprising they don't. I mean, the way they do the way asteroids come down, I think fire affecting this uh, game engine wouldn't be that difficult, but that's all they need to do. Okay, so, the next episode, we gonna be going back to the stars. And it's gonna take a lot of work on my part, cause, uh, gotta go over my footage and write down what the cost of everything is, so I have everything. So folks, keep your heads down. Yo guns, up, and I'll see you again, after I kill this dude. Ha ha ha.